A stroke is a life-threatening medical emergency that occurs when there is a disruption in the blood supply to the brain. If your blood supply is cut off, brain cells will begin to die. This can result in severe symptoms, permanent impairment, and even death in some cases. There's not just one type of stroke, there are others. In this video, we will discuss major types of strokes. The video is going to be very interesting, so make sure you stuck at end. Before we continue to our video, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to never miss any of our future uploads. Now let's get started. There are two primary categories that can be applied to strokes. Ischemic strokes, also known as strokes brought on by the constriction of an artery, or, in rare instances, a vein. Ischemic strokes account for roughly 87% of all strokes. Another type of stroke is known as a hemorrhagic stroke, which is brought on by internal bleeding. Hemorrhagic strokes account for approximately 13% of all strokes. Now engage in a detailed conversation about both of them. 1. Ischemic strokes Ischemic strokes occur when a blood vessel that supplies the brain becomes blocked or clogged, which inhibits blood flow to a portion of the brain. Ischemic strokes are the most common type of stroke. After only a few minutes, the lack of oxygen and nutrition causes the cells and tissues in the brain to begin to die. Strokes caused by ischemia can be further subdivided into two kinds. Thrombotic strokes. Strokes which are known as thrombotic strokes are those brought on by blood clots or thrombi that form in the arteries that carry blood to the brain. Older people are more likely to get this type of stroke, especially if they have diabetes, high cholesterol, or atherosclerosis, a buildup of fat, and lipids inside blood vessel walls. A thrombotic stroke can occasionally cause abrupt symptoms, which frequently happen at night or in the early morning. Other times, it could happen gradually over the course of several hours or even days. Transient ischemic attacks, also known as mini-strokes, can occur before thrombotic strokes. Transient ischemic episodes, which can last anywhere from a few minutes to up to 24 hours, frequently indicate that a stroke is imminent. The signs and symptoms of a transient ischemic attack, albeit typically mild and brief, are comparable to those of a stroke. A lacunar infarct is a different kind of stroke that affects the brain's small blood arteries. The Latin root of the word lacunar means hole or cavity. People with diabetes or high blood pressure frequently develop lacunar infarctions. Embolic strokes. Embolic strokes are the most common type of stroke, and they are caused by a blood clot that develops elsewhere in the body called an embolus and then travels to the brain through the bloodstream. Strokes caused by emboli occur suddenly and without any warning indications, and they are generally the result of cardiac disease or surgery on the heart. Atrial fibrillation is a type of irregular heart rhythm in which the upper chambers of the heart do not beat effectively. People who suffer from atrial fibrillation account for around 15% of all embolic strokes. 2. Hemorrhagic strokes When a blood vessel that supplies the brain bursts and bleeds, this can lead to a type of stroke known as a hemorrhagic stroke. In the event that an artery bleeds into the brain, oxygen and nutrients are cut off from the brain's cells and tissues. In addition to this, pressure builds up in the tissues around the brain, which can lead to inflammation and swelling, which in turn can cause additional brain damage. There are two primary classifications of hemorrhagic strokes, which are broken down into the following groups. Intracerebral hemorrhage. The majority of the time, Elevated blood pressure is to blame for intracerebral bleeding. The bleeding starts suddenly and progresses quite quickly. The majority of the time, there are no warning signals, and the bleeding can be serious enough to induce coma or even death. Subarachnoid hemorrhage. Bleeding between the meninges, the membrane that covers the brain, and the brain itself causes subarachnoid hemorrhage. This kind of bleeding frequently results from an aorta or an arteriovenous malformation. Trauma may also be the reason for it. An arterial wall with a swollen, weak spot called an aneurysm is at risk of rupturing. Aneurysms may be congenital, existing at birth, or they may appear later in life as a result of conditions like atherosclerosis or excessive blood pressure. What are recurrent strokes? Within the first five years after their initial stroke, approximately one in every four persons who have suffered a stroke will get a second stroke. The danger is greatest in the immediate aftermath of a stroke and gradually lessens with time. With each additional stroke that a patient suffers, the risk of severe impairment as well as mortality rises. About 3% of persons who have already had a stroke will suffer a second stroke within the first month after their first stroke, and about one-third will suffer a second stroke within the first two years after their first stroke. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.